Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day. And today I want to show you a really simple way that you can use filters to help slice up your data and be able to find what you need and work with a subset without having to create duplicate sheets or to cut and paste. So what we've got here is my sample set of all those very memorable people. But on this occasion, what I want to do is I just want to find the people who, um, come from, let's say, I just want to find those who were based in California. Okay. I'm not interested in anyone who's anywhere else. So I've got my uh, freeze panes on so that I can see as I move across. So we've got a city and a state. So I'm going to need to, I just want to pull out the ones that are in California and you can see that's not everybody. So here's how I do it in the easiest way. From your home tab, if you scroll across now for me, it will be in the editing section. Um, for you, that's probably if you have it open all the way across on your screen, you'll be able to see that automatically. And we've got this option here just called sort and filter. Now, if I click on this um, and then I can sort the data, but I've got this option here to filter. So if I do that, what happens is, oops, sorry, I had some cells selected. So editing, sort and filter, filter. And you can see it's popped the filters where my cursor is. So what happens here is that it's gone all the way across my data set and it's popped the curse, popped those filters in. So what it means is that I can now from this drop down, it's created, it's showing me all of the different options that are in my data range. And if I unselect and I can just search for CA, you can see it's pulled that up. You can see it's hidden the rows that I don't need. And now I can work with that data. If I wanted to copy and paste that somewhere, if I wanted to be able to sort of get an idea of how many people I have from each different state, I can do that. I could also choose multiple states. So I can say, I just want, I want California and Florida. So that's my list. Likewise, I can then go back to select all um, or clear the filter from state and it will pull everything back. If I don't want these drop downs available again, we go up into editing, sort and filter and I click on it again. You can see it's outlined at the moment. If I click again, it removes it and we go back to our plain data set. So filtering is a way for you to keep your data manageable without having to delete anything, copy and paste into multiple sheets for subsets. And it allows you to work with that data as a single set that you can copy and paste elsewhere into other programs, into tables and documents and spread other spreadsheets if you need to, without stressing about um, having to filter it through manually. Give it a go, see how you go.